Okay, so I look a bit crazy, but this is all I'm doing to seem any type of presentable out in the world. Um, I need really, really badly to get a blow dryer this week because I cannot stand wet hair. Um, and I had nothing to talk about, but something so fucking funny. It's not funny. Nobody got hurt. So let me clarify that before I start getting into the video and you're like, what the fuck? So yesterday I had to go up to my work to do my bartending test and all that stuff. So, um, I don't even know where to begin. Um, basically it was pretty crowded. Um, I guess maybe there was a game going on last night on TV. I'm not really sure. Cause usually for a Tuesday at like six, it's not that crowded. But anyway, so there was a big room in the back that we had to do this test for. So we did all that and then it took like two and a half, three hours. But me and my coworker, uh, the one that I, the coworker from hell that I talk about all the time. Um, but in a setting like that, it's much, much nicer to hang out with her because we're not at work and she's goofy and funny. So we went outside to smoke a cigarette before she was going to leave. And there's a bunch of people on the patio or on the right in front of the parking lot. And I'm not paying any attention. Um, she tells me she has to leave and I'm like, okay, I'll see you Friday, whatever. I'm talking to this older lady um, about the test or where she works and all this shit. And all of a sudden, out of my peripheral, I see like in the parking lot right in front of us, this lady like go down. And I don't know what it is. When something crazy like that happens, you don't know how to react. This car was literally like backing over this woman, backing over her. And I couldn't tell if the car, like if the tire was going over her leg, if it was just like under the car. But the lady I'm talking to stops and she runs up to the car and starts slapping the car. She's like, stop, stop, stop. She's like, you're running her over. And I'm like, it's like slow-mo. And who the fuck, and I don't know what my coworker drives. Who gets out of the car? My fucking coworker. Because at first she starts to pull, pull forward like she's just going to leave. And the lady's slapping her car. And she pulls up and she gets out and she's like, oh my God, what do you mean? I packed over you. What do you mean? She wasn't, she was fine. She was hurt. I'm sure she was fucking shaken up and fucking horrified, but she was fine. So I'm standing there and I kind of look across the patio or whatever, the, this other guy that's standing there. And I'm just like, D am I crazy or did I miss that or what? Because at first I didn't even see it was a person. I didn't know if somebody's dog ran out and... Because nobody was reacting at first, so I had to pee. I went inside, and like the late, the girl that, my friend that was working the bar, I was like, come here. Listen to this shit. So she tells, you know, obviously my boss is there and whatever, and I think I have to write a report and bring it in tomorrow. Because nobody was hurt. Uh, my coworker obviously stayed. She didn't just leave. She kept offering to take the lady to, like, um, the hospital, and she was fine. The lady that got, like, ran over, um... She stayed for a little bit longer. I don't know if she was waiting on her ride. I didn't really talk to her. She was kind of a loon. Like, and I really don't know if it was my coworker's fault because I'm telling you, this lady legit came out of nowhere. I just, I hate parking lots, but I mean, she really did come out of nowhere, but I don't know if she was just unaware. Oh my God. I was like, of course, of course, this was what's happening. Um, not a lot going on today. Uh, hopefully this week is good for money because I would like to kind of... Honestly, I just forgot how nice it is to get out of the house. You know, uh, over Cinco de Mayo, we went out to dinner, which was a shit show. Like, it is so corny and cringy. Like, holidays like that, I get it. Like, uh, the holiday itself isn't corny. I'm, I'm talking about all the people that ransack the streets to celebrate it when they're not even... Of any Mexican descent. Not that you have to be Mexican. You guys know what I mean. But my best friend, her husband is Mexican. And so I've just kind of like, I don't want to say I've delved into the culture, but it's really cool to see someone else's life or what they bring in. You know, obviously we're just from the shit ass small town. So even whenever they like cook or they talk about how they grew up, it's just very, uh, very interesting. Wow. This is actually drying pretty nicely, but the only thing for some reason around here that tends to be billed are Mexican restaurants, dollar stores, and gas stations. Like, I'm not really sure how many more Mexican restaurants we need. But, you know, it's cool because I like Mexican food. So, uh, me and Matt end up, we did end up going out that Sunday. And it's not like we would have, it's it's legit like, what do you want to go, Applebee's or any Mexican restaurant within a, you know, six block radius. We would have gone anyway. But, I mean... I'm making fun of my town, so I don't really know who gives a shit. I live in a bunch of fucking Hoosiers. Hoosiers. Like, I get if you want to wear pajama pants to Walmart at 3 in the morning, but can you please put on some type of pants? Like, I wear leggings all day long. You know what I mean? 
but I do not need to see your ripped up Batman leggings with your white, white tank top that is now brown with your bra straps, tits, and gut hanging out to go to the grocery store. Like, can we have a, just put on a t-shirt, like for real. I get it if you're running in, I've done it before, I don't like it because I just feel like free. I feel too loosey-goosey if I'm wearing some like loose uh, pajama pants to the grocery store. But I'll try, I'll slap a hoodie on. I don't know, it doesn't take that much effort. Nobody cares, literally they have like cigarettes dangling out of their mouth while they're at checkout line. Like, I have seen it almost every time I leave, if I pass the grocery store, there's somebody putting groceries in their car with a cigarette in their mouth. I'm like, can you not wait five minutes? Like, oh, this town is such a trip. But anyway, what the fuck with that? Oh, yeah. Every place we went to was just packed out the ass. And I'm the type of person I like to sit in a booth. If I go out to a restaurant, I like to sit and drink and eat. Like, I don't want to be rushed. I told you guys the last time we went to this place, um, I guess it's because we just look really young. It was for Matt's birthday, I think. So that was back in October, but... We got seated in the shittiest spot, which I'm pretty sure the table they sat us at is where the employees go to sit and eat on break. And um, we got our food. They literally gave it as soon as he set the food down, he gave us our check and just would not leave us alone, like to get us out of there. And I'm like, holy shit, like if I'm going out for a meal, the whole point of me going out is to sit and socialize. Like I will make it worth, I get that I'm sitting at a table that is yours. So I'm going to tip accordingly. Like I'm not going to waste your fucking table that you could turn over a bunch of times like that's that's just not my thing but we went to this place um we had a beer honestly which is gross because it was kind of like right by the bat like not, not the bathroom door because you have to open a door and go down but it was so obnoxious because it's all these older white couples that are just wasted off watered down margaritas and keep yelling like senorita and shit and i just kept staring at matt and i was like we have to stop the madness like i said that was anyway but like even if it wasn't cinco de mayo we would have gone because one of our favorite mexican restaurants is downtown um, but that one was too packed, so we went to another one. But uh, <laughs> obviously, the people that work there are Mexican. And you know they fucking hate it. As to where I work at an Irish uh, bar, pub, that's pretty much their St. Patrick's Day. But in a town where I live, like, every excuse in the book to get wasted, we'll take it. You know what I mean? Um, there was a different... So it was... This guy was standing there with these, with these two, like ridiculous sized margaritas in his hands and this white couple they're like sashaying from inside and she's like doing this to him and he looks like he just wants to crawl in a fucking corner and um the husband just kept yelling like oh senorita and I'm like oh my god please I was like these poor people like I felt so I was so secondhand embarrassed but it's like I don't know I was telling my best friend about this uh it was so fucking corny and then um, I went, we went to this other one because after we ate, I'm like, let's just go get a drink. So we go to this other Mexican restaurant, but we just wanted to sit at the bar, sit on the patio outside. I'm telling you right now, like everybody that was standing outside, they all had shower caps on their heads and sitting on the hood in the parking lot, like in the back parking lot. They weren't even sitting at a, on a uh, table. They were all sitting on the hood of their cars with these giant margaritas in their hands in their pajama pants. And I'm just like, I am so embarrassed. <laughs> like, I'm not really embarrassed, but, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It was absurd. I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I, I really do enjoy going out. It is gorgeous outside. I went outside to take the trash out. That's as much as I went outside today. But it's beautiful and... Um, Obviously, I can't do much whenever I have the work The work week starts tomorrow, so it's fine. I'm hoping to make some good money. I do get my check this week, uh, but that's going to go all, all to bills. But I would love to just, like, oh, when the weather gets nice, I'm hoping that really, like, amps my mood and gets me more motivated to do more stuff, you know? Um, I'm really sick of just sitting in the house and moping about stupid shit. I need to probably fix my bangs, but whenever they dry, they're a little bit better. I always feel so weird whenever I don't wear eyeliner. I obviously just slapped on some mascara because it just makes me feel a little bit better. But sometimes I'll go months without wearing eyeliner. And then when I put it on, I'm like, wow, I look like a drag queen. Like when you don't wear makeup for a long time and then you put it on and you're like, oh, God, does this even look good? I'm kind of hoping that the wing eyeliner trend goes away, even though I'm so used to it. But I sometimes if it doesn't work in my favor, it'll take me like fucking an hour to put on eyeliner. And I have like a mental breakdown. 
I have to, like, I scream. My neighbors are probably just so confused. I listened to the whole Avril Lavigne album, um, Under My Skin, the other day. They're probably like, what fucking emotional 13-year-old lives in this house? I don't know. I've been feeling good, though. Hopefully, everything, what up? And I think next time we go on, like, an eatery adventure, I obviously don't want to put people in my video, like, people I don't know, but I would like to show you guys, like, bars and stuff. Honestly, I can't wait till I'm like, I move out of this shithole and then I can come back and literally be like, this is the bar that so-and-so happened with. This is the park that I had sex in and got arrested. I didn't, and that never happened. I mean, I didn't get arrested, but, but you know, like to go to all these places that I've always been talking about just to show you guys, I guess I could do it now, but I don't want to like die, but I mean, like, that's why I feel like I, I not that I live in in some, I mean, they did just find a dead body a little while by, behind Walmart, but I don't live in a place where if I walk out of my house, it's not like some movie that if I walk out, people are carrying like AKs, but whenever I share so much information about my life, it's like, if you want to come down to where I live and try to find me, God bless, because uh, I would not want to, <laughs> like, woo wee. Be one thing if I live in somewhere nice like Chicago or New York or whatever in my nice pet house. <laughs> If you want to come down here, please feel free, but I feel for your safety just as much as mine, honestly. But hopefully she's about done. This bitch is dyeing her hair again, which is kind of something I want to do. Uh, I don't know. I feel like whenever I go too light with my hair, it washes me out. But at this point, I've dyed my hair so much and it is healthy. I think that's why it's able to dry so much quickly. Um... My chest hurts. That's probably a great sign. I don't know why. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go to the ER. Um, but I'm gonna jump off here. I probably just need to, like, get up and stretch a bit. But I love you guys very much. I just wanted to kind of do a goofy video and update you guys and whatever. But I love you guys. I'll see you next video.